In this lesson, we're going to be talking about and showing you guys how to make basic drawings in AutoCAD. So let's dive right into it. Welcome back, guys. So most of you are probably really new to AutoCAD if you're watching this video. So what you're going to have is you're going to have a screen somewhat like this show up when you start the program. So you can see here, I, I have a variety of drawings that I have done and that I've used in uh, tutorials before. But we don't really need to worry about that. Yours is probably going to be blank or it's going to be filled with demos. Don't worry about this right now. That's to come later. If you come over to the side here, you're going to see we have two options. There's open and there's new. So you can either click open and that will open the default template that you have for AutoCAD. Uh, but if you click the down arrow, you're going to be able to actually specifically select which drawing type you want to open. So if I click that, you're going to see I have all these here. Uh, we are going to open a CAD.DWT. That should be the basic one that you open if you just click new, because again, as beginners, you don't need to know too much about the templates right now. So just click that and that will bring you into your AutoCAD. So what do we need to do to start drawing? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to switch our units. So if you come with me to the command bar here, this is probably going to be the most useful command you're ever going to have in AutoCAD. And I highly encourage you to turn it on. You're going to want to type in D Y N M O D. So DIN mode, DIN mode, whatever you want to say, and you're going to want to open that command. So press enter, and you're going to see that you're going to have a value for it. So it says DIN mode, enter new value for it. Mine is set to three. You're going to want to set yours to three as well. Mine is set to three. And what this does is it allows you to type in commands because I'm going to type in commands a lot. So this is going to help you a lot. It's going to let you type in commands. So you don't have to go to the command bar, click it type the command, press enter. You can just type, start typing on your keyboard and AutoCAD will instantly allow you to start having those commands instantly available. So set that to three. So once you're here, press three, press enter, and it's gonna be set to three. Once you're done, you can just click out of it and we're gonna have that available. What this allows us to do is it allows me to type in, let's say I type in line, you're gonna see I'm starting to type and it's at my cursor. So this command lets me just hit the tools right away instead of just having to go down there or go click them. I can just start typing what I want. So the first command that we're going to go over really, really quick is the line command. So this allows you to draw lines in AutoCAD. If I press enter here, uh, I can start drawing a line. So I'm going to specify my first point, which is here. I can draw it across and I can click. Now, one thing that you're going to want to do, and one thing that's very difficult for a lot of beginners uh, is keeping your lines straight. So you can see here, mine's going to tell me my degrees. It's going to tell me how long it is. Uh, I'm using a metric system right now. So I believe that is 22 meters, 22 and a half meters. However, this works for the Imperial US customary units as well. And so then if I click down now, I'm going to have my line at that length. And you're going to see I'm going to be able to create a line from that point anywhere. Another thing to, that you can see here is I have a green line, a green dotted line around my line that I just finished drawing. What this does is it gives me a direction indicator and it allows my line that I'm now drawing to snap based on that position. So with that said, if we come down here and we go to our snaps down here, so follow my cursor, come down here, you're going to see there's this little box here and there's a little arrow a down arrow click the down arrow and you're going to have access to all of your object snap settings here so what these snap settings do is they're going to allow you to have it so you can start drawing at different points in a drawing without having to manually input where it is do math do other things that are confusing and take too long this allows you to just like let's say snap in the middle of the line we just drew if i take the line command i'll show you an example of that if i come here and i click line you're going to see if I go over or close to my line with my cursor, you're going to have this triangle there. What that triangle tells me is, hey, for this line, this is the center of our line. And if you start drawing here, you're going to see that my cursor is just going to snap to it. It's going to say, this is exactly where it is. This is a very important command to have. These are very important tools, the snaps, because they allow you to get really, really, really accurate drawings without having to kind of, you know, mess around with anything. So let's just go back down here. If you need to pause the video and go and select your snaps and set them to what I have, you can also set them the way you would like to have them. I just encourage you to set them to the way I have them. So if you are doing our tutorials, you're going to be able to follow along quite quickly. You're going to be able to follow along and know exactly where my things are snapping, why things are working the way they are. And it's just good to keep your commands uh, the same as your tutor so you know what's going on. 
Once that's done, another thing we need to talk about is your units. So if we just type in units, you're going to see we have a command called units. What units does is it lets us set our units. So you're going to press enter here and you're going to be able to have this uh, pop up. So what this pop up does is it lets you select your units. So we're going to go here. We can see we have decimal, architectural, engineering. I tend to use architectural. I usually keep my precision at 1 16th of an inch because this is what I work with on a daily basis. You can also select your angles. You can select your insertion scale. I'm going to keep mine in inches. It's going to show you what your sample output is going to be. So when you're using the program, this is what's going to be output and this is what it's going to look like. And you can also select the lighting units. Um, doesn't really matter with what we're doing, so we're just gonna click OK. Once that's done, we can take a look at a bunch of our other drawing tools. So we have a polyline as well. So what's a polyline? Well, it's a line that's connected to itself. So if I, I'm just gonna give you an example here. If I click on my line and I just go and I do this, for instance, you're gonna see when I highlight each line by putting my cursor over it, each line is individually highlighted, so they're all separate lines. I can't click this line and select this line. I have to select it manually, and I can't select the list line and select this line, or and I can't select this line to have this line selected because it is also an opposite line. And you're like, well, what does that mean? Well, if I go to my polyline and I draw the exact same thing, I'm going to make it slightly larger just so I can easily grab it. I'm going to draw the exact same thing. And if I click it, it's going to highlight the entire thing. So what a polyline is, is it's a command that allows you to draw a line, but the lines that you draw and when you click, it's not going to create a separate line. It's going to create just an extension of the line pretty much that you already had. So this is a useful command for when you're, I guess, creating drawings or you need to have something. So if you're offsetting something, which is another video we have, if you want to go check that out on our channel, if you're offsetting something, you're going to tend to want to use polylines and things like that so that you can just select one line and not have to deal with it. And it's always going to work with itself to make it work. Whereas if I was going to offset something like this, it would be a little more difficult. I could still do it. It's just, there's a little more work involved uh, and it's not as efficient. So polylines work in the same way as lines. Uh, when you're drawing, another thing to note is if you want to exit drawing. So if I'm drawing around and I'm like, oh, how do I click out of this? You don't want to left click. You don't want to right click. If I want to get out of this, I press escape. If you press escape, it will stop the command from working. And this goes for anything. Use escape to pause and stop commands. If you come here, we can see we have a circle. So the circle command is pretty obvious in what it does. It allows you to draw a circle. So we're just going to go here. We're going to draw a circle. We have our circle. Uh, and when you're drawing a circle, another thing to mention is the default setting for the circle is the radius. So you're going to be drawing from the radius. You can specify the diameter, I believe. Yeah, you can. Um, so if you do diameter, you can then specify the diameter and it's going to show you the diameter instead. We also have arc. So what's an arc? So an arc is a way to create, well, an arc. Uh, and you're going to see here that there's a variety of arc commands here. There's three point, all these other different ones here. Um, pretty much you use it based on what you need it for. But the basics of this is for, let's say, a three point. I'm going to have a point here. Uh, and then I specify the second point of my arc. And then I can specify the next point of my arc. So let's say I want to put it here. And then that would be a three point arc. Now I know I didn't make it as pretty and beautiful as it should be and it's intersecting, but for the sake of the tutorial, it is good enough. So when you're actually trying to draw in AutoCAD, how do we draw? Well, it's really simple. Let's say I want to draw a floor plan that is uh, 100 square feet. I want a 100 square foot shed, for instance. Uh, that's relatively easy to do. It's relatively easy to follow and you can use it quite simply so what you want to do is you want to click down here you're going to want to go up and you're going to see i'm so i'm doing 100 so i'm going to do 10 feet so i'm going to type in my command so that's another thing when you have certain settings enabled you can do this uh, i think you can do it by default so when you're drawing your line you can type in how long you want it to be so you can see here i typed in 10 feet make sure you use the foot command not the inch command if you are using us customary units and then once that's done you do not want to press enter yet because you want your angle to be exactly where you want it you can see i have a 90 degree angle i want it to be a 90 degree angle but i'm going to go and press tab once i press tab i'm going to have access to this right here and you're going to see it's not giving me it's it's blocking itself but i can type in the degree that i want i want 90 degrees so i type in nine zero and then i press enter once that's done you're going to see that my drawing is my line is going to be 10 feet and it's going to be exactly 90 degrees so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this i'm going to grab another line i'm going to go across 10 feet i'm going to do the same thing um, but in this can, in this case, since I have my snap set, I know for a fact that I don't have to type in 
my degrees for this. So what I can do is I can just type in 10 feet, make sure that that dotted green line is going across. Once that's done, I press enter and we are good to go. And then if we go down, we can do the same thing. Now, in this case, what we can do is if you have your snaps set to what I have them set as, I can go hover my cursor over this one. So this corner right here in the bottom left, and I can move it over and it should snap and meet with the line that I was just drawing. So once that's done, I can click. It's going to go exactly where those two intersect. And then I can move this line over, close it up, press escape, and I have my let's say floor plan or box or whatever you want to call it right there. Once that's done, what you want to do is you're going to want to offset. So this is just a basic thing that you would want to do. You're going to want to offset by about six inches for walls. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these together. So if you have lines, you can join them together. If you join them together, it's going to act like a polyline. So now I have a polyline. Once that's done, I'm going to select it. I'm going to type offset into my command. Offset again is a command that we used before in previous lessons. You press this. It's going to say specify distance or through. So I'm just going to select a, select a corner and I can pull it out as much as I want. So I'm actually going to just start typing. I'm going to do six inches and it's going to give me a six inch offset. So I can do exterior, interior. I'm going to do exterior. And then once that's done, I press escape and I successfully drew a 100 square foot uh, floor plan. So there we go. And there we have it. Another tool that you can use is this measure tool. That's another quick thing we'll talk about in a minute is what the measure tool does as well. It allows you to measure. So we've got 10 by 10. It's exactly what we wanted. And then you can also measure the distance in between six inches by, you know, 11 or whatever. And there you have it. So that's how you would draw basic things in AutoCAD. You can do your circles, your lines, your polylines. It's not too difficult. Remember to always press escape when you're done drawing that object. And remember to have your snap set correctly make sure everything works. So if this video is helpful, please drop a like, send a comment down there. We'd love to hear from you guys. And we're going to continue on this and we're going to do a modify. So we're going to be talking about copying, mirroring and other things in a later lesson. This is going to be our beginner series that we're just starting now in 2025. Guys, we look forward to seeing you guys later. Hopefully this will be helpful. Take care. Bye.